So welcome back to another Fall Guys uh, analysis video here, and uh, make sure to like and comment if you do enjoy it, and uh, hopefully you learn something from this video that you can use in game to get more crowns. So we start off with the Whirly Gig, which has happened numerous times at this point. Uh, so you're gonna want to look at the arrows on all the pillars here. Or the beams so that you know which direction that they're spinning so they can plan accordingly to which path you want to use through it and nothing else useful in the first video that you can see but yeah it's sold up so many times orly gig I always win when I get it I don't know not every time but you know so make sure it's some player going down the slope here so, you don't want to get hit by the end of the beam here, because then you're just going to go ragdoll and not really make it that far. But you want to get hit, or you do not want to get hit by the inner part of the beam, because then you're just going to go ragdoll and make it about nowhere either. But you do want to get hit uh, around the center of the beam, because then you won't go ragdoll and you'll get flung forever. And, uh... Yeah, uh, again, you have to actually be at a good angle, though. And people can get in the way a lot, so you gotta be careful about that. So. <laughs> so, while you come up to this point, you just want to continue walking forward, jump, and then dive. Uh, to get up on top of the ledge here. So then you just want to go through this little gap here, between the fans on either side. So about this point you can look at the fan back there, behind this one next to you, to see what's white spinning to uh, go on the correct side to get through it. Uh, so here, since it's spinning to the right, you're going to want to go up the left uh, side. And you can go, if it's spinning left, then you go up the right side. So while you're about to get there, you want to dive so that you go under the fan instead of getting hit by it. Probably do not jump. Now you can just dive on top of that to make it over. And that is it for the first round. So then the second round is rollout. Uh, it's not, I'm gonna speed this up. But there isn't, you know, like, there isn't, like, particular points on the map where you can, like, I don't know, uh, do something. But there's different tactics that you can do. Then there's cannons, and it's only free. Uh, you can either get behind walls, or you can get behind the pillars, um, to dodge the fruit. And... Or you could stay towards more of the side towards, like, the cannons. Because the fruit only starts hitting about at the highest point on the ring. So, if you stay closer to them, you won't be able to get hit. Or to stay behind the wall and pillar. And, uh... What is it? Oh yeah, it's, uh... Don't try to get too nervous on this, because it is pretty intense, intense, uh, with the only free rings and everything, but don't worry too much about it. So the next round of leading light, I'm also gonna speed this one up because, I mean, there's basically nothing I can say here, other than to stay in the light, and, uh, also it's just, like, if the light goes up to the top, like, uh, on top of one of the higher points, do not keep falling into the wall, because I see a lot of people just trying to do that. So, I would not recommend doing that, I'd just recommend trying to get on top of the higher point, instead of, uh, trying to walk into the wall with it. But yeah, it's going pretty fast, so. Well, there it is. So, then the next one is Hooping Hoopsie Legends. Yeah, uh, so this one, there is not, again, too much to go through the rings. There are certain points that you can jump through, 
Smart rings, even though it doesn't look like it. Here's some other tips. Like, I recommend uh, staying around in the middle of the free bridges, because uh, a lot, or at least my experience, a lot of gold rings spawn there. But also, uh, I wouldn't recommend staying at a gold ring, like if a lot of people are trying to uh, get it uh, with a platform, I'd recommend just leaving. Because while those people sit there, you can go get normal rings and qualify before them. So, and a lot of normal rings also st uh, spawn around the middle, so. Also a gold knight here, which is kind of rare. But yeah, there's also lots of axes in this one, which can be pretty agitating, but you just have to time it right to uh, get past them. And also just wait, because I did not and I fell. But yeah, also sometimes a lot of people just... The thing that I've noticed is a lot of people kind of travel in packs. So like everybody goes around the round area. Uh, man, I'm messing this up a lot. <laughs> A lot of people go around the map area here, like, together, so it's far harder to get rings. <clears throat> so I recommend just kind of breaking off from the pack, maybe sitting in the middle, or looking for a bunch of rings sitting on the edges, like I did back there, or I found back there. There's some stumps as well. Like, you can, uh... I think that's how I know it's from the skull and ring. Uh, where some hoops that are at the edge platform things that you can jump to or jump through, but it looks like you can't. But you just need the proper speed and momentum. But we get hexagon here, which I'm gonna speed up. We get the low gravity version here. And uh, low gravity, honestly, it's just not. I mean, it can be good, but it can be pretty bad. Uh, earlier when I was recording a video here, I actually, I got a uh, hexagon with low gravity, and somehow everyone managed to die at the same time. So, uh, it's a weird thing that can happen if uh, everybody, or if the last two people alive get eliminated at the same time, it will just uh, go back to the uh, knockout screen, and just... <laughs> Now, uh, say zero qualified, it'll knock out everyone. Even though it's a final round. So, yeah, it's definitely weird. It's happened to me, though, a round before this. But it's pretty common, I think, for low gravity mode. So, here, I'm about to win. I'm about to do the play of the century right there. I recommend doing that. You can jump on people's heads and then get super high up among everyone else. It's pretty, it's pretty good. But that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys uh, learned something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you can get a few more crowns using these tips. And if you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment. And uh, maybe sub if you want. But I'm not going to force you. See you next time.